A lot of people ask me about my workflow for different kinds of projects. Uh, often get questions about green screen shoots and keying and all that sort of stuff. I've got a project here that's just loaded with talking head interviews, all shot on a green screen. I'm going to go down to the next one in line here. I've been working on a bunch of these other ones. You can see sequences for each one of these. Uh, uh, next one is this woman named uh, Janae. I'm going to take uh, her first file here and drop it into a sequence and then take her second clip and drop it in right after this one and the first thing I know I could do is delete the second audio track it's just something that comes from a TriCaster like this you can see it's empty anyway so I'm just gonna right click and hit delete track now I'm gonna uh, hit my slash key to take a look at all of this now I can tell just from these audio waveforms I can tell that this interview actually begins here Okay, so I'm just going to close that up, and I can tell that it ends here. And this is Excellent. something <laughs> extraneous here that we don't need. So I'm just going to uh, close that up to there. And for now, I'll tell you why in a second, but for now I'm just going to close this up to here. We'll open that back up in a second. On this one here, I can see that it ends here, and I can see that this is all just shucking and jiving with the subject. So I'm going to close that up until the interview starts right about there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is normalize my audio. Audio gain, normalize all peaks to zero, that's fine. And this is why I closed this up, because I saw a spike there that would give me a false reading on this. So this doing it like this will give me a, a realistic reading. And we'll be right back when this part is finished. Just going to put a little space in between these. There we go. This is, again is the wide shot, and this is the close up. Next thing I'm going to do is reposition her in the frame. I'm going to reframe it a little bit. Really cool new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 is the ability to go into the effects tab here, is the ability to reposition the anchor point easily just by clicking on the motion gadget and dragging it down where you want it. In this case, I want it right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to zoom this up. I do not want the arm of the chair in there, so I'm going to position that down. And I'm going to push her over to about right, right there. Looks good. All right, now we're going to the close-up. And again, motion gadget. Dragging it down. You know what? This one doesn't need to be zoomed at all. Her top of her head's already cut off because she had kind of high hair there, but that's fine. No problem there. And I'm just going to push her over, and I think we'll be done with that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now try to follow along here. I'm going to select both these video tracks, and I'm going to pull them up one track, leaving a blank track, and then holding the Alt key, I'm going to duplicate them and turn off this one. All right, next thing I'm going to do is go back to my assembly tab, grab an adjustment layer and drop it on the top. And then I'm going to grab black video. Now, uh, one thing I kind of skipped on was I'm, I know I'm going to need some basic color correction on this before I get going. And there is a 50% a gray thing and a slate that happens before these things. I've already cut it out. So let me just quickly go back and put it in here. Let's just select all here. I'm just going to drag them out. Drag this out, and we'll find a slate here. I'm just going to grab the fast color corrector, go to effects, type in fast, grab the color corrector, but we only want it on one video track right now. We're going to copy it to the other ones. Okay, and I'm going to key on the 50% gray, and you can see the change that it has made there in the color wheel. It's, it's subtle, but it was important. All right, now I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to select the other three tracks, Shift key, hold, Control V. We'll paste the color corrector on there. Now I can select I'll select everything again, Control A, close it up to where the interview begins, and delete. Okay, now I'm all set with a basic color correction in there. Okay, I think we can start keying now. I'm going to select just the uh, video tracks here. Type in Ultra, my effects tab and I'm going to drop it ultra and stick it on all those. All right, now you realize the second video track here is turned off, but that's okay. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to type in, looks like my cap key got on. I'm going to type in ramp, and I'm just going to drop a ramp 
in on the black video. Okay. So from here, turn on video track one. I'm going to go to opacity, grab the pen tool, and uh, you see this is set on 50%, so I can go below the area here. But uh, I'm going to use a separate instance of, of Ultra on her hair. So I'm going to just take this area here and not include her hair right now or the parts of the hair that I know that are going to cause me issues. And all I have to do now to get the effect that I want, pretty much, there may be some tweaking involved, but grab key color, uh, drop it on there, and go from default to aggressive. And that takes care of the shadows, takes care of the edges, looks pretty darn good. All right, let's do the, let's do the other half of her. We've got to turn it on first and make sure we're under opacity. Grab a pen tool, and this is going to be for her hair. All right, I'm going to quickly going to scroll through this and make sure her, her head does not go out of that range. It doesn't. Okay, so under Ultra now, I'm going to key it, but I'm not going to go too aggressive because I want to keep her hair in there. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Alpha Channel see if I have any issues in here. Really, not much at all. That keyed really well. Uh, I can see a little schmutz going on. I see a little issue here, but th this is all doable. Uh, so under matte generation, I'm going to go to transparency and make it a little more transparent. Shadows look good though. I'm going to play with them just a little bit. Wow, I can really bring her hair out there. I'm boosting the shadows up some. Okay, and go back to composite and maybe play with the shadow just a little bit more. Yeah, there's a fine line here, isn't there? Fine line right there. Looks like 64. I can see we're having some green spill problem on the side of her cheek over here, but we can take care of that. She's, she's got some gray areas on her face here from the keying process. Uh, and her hair is going to look better once I settle on a final uh, final gradient ramp that's going to be based on probably the color of her shirt or necklace maybe or her lipstick I don't know we'll, we'll see but in order to fix this uh, color on her face I'm going to go to in ultra I'm going to go to spill suppression and just from experience I'm going to crank crank this up until I can see that it that kind of gray area disappears now she looks she's looking very magenta right now but that's okay see this is, I've gone all the way up to 67 I'm gonna back it down to 65 here now with the spill you can see we can we can adjust that you still see a little green in the hair well it's a fine line isn't it a fine line you gotta find it now just for fun let's crank this back down to 50 and see if we what we get when we adjust the the spill. It's still got kind of a gray area in her face there, but it's a lot less magenta. Let's try 55. Well, it's better than it was. I'm not crazy about it. Um, but now we need to do the same on the other. So we got 55 values of 55 and 45 spill adjusting Luma. Looks really good right around where it was, around 50. Don't doesn't need to be touched. All right, desaturate's not something we're going to mess with. Okay, going back to the other track and spill suppression. It was 55 and 45. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, people with dark hair need to have lighter uh, backgrounds and still maintain all the hair detail here. But uh, we'll work on that in a minute. Oh, hell, let's work on it right now. Okay, under black video ramp, I'm going to choose a radial ramp. And I'm going to choose the gadget here. I'm going to move the, the, the center of the radius right about under her chin. And I'm going to move the outer, and I'm just going to move it off screen down here. Ah, let's put put it right about here. Now we're going to change the colors. 
Uh, for black, I'm just going to click on her shirt here. Let's click on her shirt again and just darken it up a whole bunch. Okay. Now this is still too, too intense. Um, <clears throat> so in order to quickly fix this, I'm just going to go to Fast Color Corrector again. I'm just going to drop it on there. And just for the heck of it, I'm just going to lower the saturation on that until it's until it's much more subtle I'm gonna actually make it a little grayer so she pops out a little bit more that's good okay now you see her hair looks much better against that lighter background you see every strand of hair there that's just great great okay let's go to the close-up all right first things first turn off the second track and go to opacity, grab the pen tool, and let's cut her out there, but try to leave all the hair in there for the other instance. Oh, I gotta go back to 50% uh, here to be able to go off screen here. Uh, there we go. Okay. And just going to scrub, scrub through this and make sure it go out of the area. That's going to work just fine. Okay. So going down to Ultra, we're going to key that and just set it to aggressive. And we're done with that. Turn the other track on. Go back to Opacity on this track. Grab the Pen Tool. And away we go. I get all the hair in there. And again, scroll through, make sure she doesn't go out of the area. She doesn't. Back down to back down to ultra. Key it out. And let's go to alpha channel. We're gonna mat generation, transparency down just a tad. There we go. Shadow needs to come up just a bit. To... There we go. Looking good. Go back to composite. And under spill suppression, going up to 55 and 45. Same thing here. Under spill suppression. 55 and 45 and just get rid of a little bit of that green hue there and we're pretty much done with this we just need to I need to scrub through it quickly a little bit and make sure that all the shadows are filled in their hair looks good okay I'm gonna make a couple of little changes on the adjustment layer first thing I'm gonna do back in well we are in the effects tab is type in beauty and I'm taking Digital Anarchy Beauty Box and dropping it onto the track. And then I'm going to select Analyze Frame. And then go back and look at the colors it has chosen to. And I'm not crazy about that. So I'm going to go to the dark color and choose a dark, darker color on her face. And then I'm going to go to the light color and choose maybe her nose. Okay, that's a very, very heavy use of the effect. So I'm just going to take the smoothing amount, drop it all the way down. So this is the original look, and I'm just going to bring it up until the lines begin to disappear on her face. Softer look. And that's about 10, a value of 10. It was at 30, now it's at 10. And this is nice. This is a nice look. There you go. All right, now over here on the color tab, let's take a look at, yeah, I mean, if we, we increase the, the saturation, it just looks overblown there, so we're not going there. Um, I'm looking at the blacks could probably stand to come down just a tad, a little richer in the blacks. I'm keeping an eye on my uh, Lumetri scopes over here. And that looks pretty good there. I like the high contrast look. Um, shadows, I'm going to leave them alone. Just highlights, whites. Don't really feel it needs to be brightened up too much. Well, maybe a tad. Don't see any shiny spots on her face. She did a good job with her own makeup. 
now it's blowing out on her nose a little bit. So I'm going to pull this down, push this up. There we go. There we go. I like this look a lot. Well, we're basically done. So hope you enjoyed this exercise as long as it was and my random sort of way of delivering it. But uh, there it is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And as always, please like and subscribe. This is Stan Arthur. We'll see you next time.